Hi. Well, hello there from Fort Collins, Colorado. My name is Trevor Sullivan. I am a Microsoft MVP for Windows PowerShell, and I am an independent consultant focusing on the Microsoft Azure Public Cloud and the PowerShell automation language. I wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you today about PowerShell classes. I've already done an introductory video, but I wanted to go into a little bit more depth. I wanted to talk about PowerShell class inheritance and how you can call base members from the child class. So in this example, we're going to create a class called Vehicle. And our Vehicle class is going to serve as a base class for other types of vehicles that inherit from it. So for example, in the Vehicle class, we will simply define a method called Drive that returns a void value, so meaning it returns null. And the Drive method is going to take uh, an integer which is the number of miles. And we're also going to give the car a mileage because all vehicles have mileage on them, right? So we need to declare another a property, in this case, called mileage. So now we have this base class called vehicle, and we can now inherit from this class and either override or take advantage of its members. So, for example, in the drive method, we're going to increment the mileage of the vehicle by the number of miles. So we're basically saying the mileage of the current vehicle will be increased by the variable number of miles. And that's whatever the user passes in as a parameter. So let's say that we want to actually have a car class that inherits from vehicle. Well, what we can do is create another class called car and then we can inherit from it by using a colon afterwards and specifying the name of the class that we want to inherit from. Now a car might have different properties such as length and width. And because our car inherits from the vehicle class, we automatically inherit the mileage property and we also inherit the drive method. Now if we want to we can also override the drive method and declare our own version of the drive method in our child class. So by, to do that we simply specify the method once again and in this case we need to pass in a parameter which is an integer number of miles and then we can simply re-implement the method using the same technique as above. However, what you'll notice is that this method gets called whereas the other one doesn't. So to verify this, we'll use the write host command which most people will tell you is bad. But in this case, we're just going to use it as a test. So let's go ahead and instantiate our car. So we're just going to create a new car and we'll assign it to a variable called car. And then once we instantiate the car, we will drive it for, let's say, 10 miles. I don't want to go too far. And what we should see here, if we run that, is that the text output is actually in green. So we can see that the drive method on the car was called, whereas the vehicle's drive method was not, because that would have output red text instead. Now if we want to call the parent class's uh, method as well, what we can do is cast our instance to the base class and inside of the class we always refer to the instance of the class using the this variable. So what we want to do is we want to cast that to a vehicle so we're basically taking our car which is this and we're casting it to its parent class which is the vehicle. Once we do that we can wrap it in parentheses and call the drive method and we pass in a parameter, again the number of miles, and what you'll see happen this time is both methods are going to get called. So it's actually going to increment the mileage from 10 to 20. 
And so let's go ahead and just enumerate the mileage of the car after we're finished, and you'll see what happens. So as you can see, what happened here is first, our child class, the drive method was called in the child class. After that, we called the base class, or the vehicle's implementation of drive. And then after that, we enumerated the number of miles that was driven. And in this case, because we actually called the child and the parent methods, both of those methods increment the mileage uh, the same amount. So uh, instead of driving 10 miles, we drove 20. Um, in most practical applications, you wouldn't necessarily want to do this, but just be aware that this is how you would call the, impl the parent implementation of a method that shares the same signature. So that's all I have for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.